guitar fans out there, this is Howard Lease. 22 years in the band hard, and now I'm in a band called Bad Company from London, England. And uh, this is my old 60 Burst. I called it the Grail. I got this guitar in 1979 in Tulsa, Oklahoma from Larry Briggs. And uh, that day I bought a 57 Strat, which Nancy Wilson took. But I had this guitar for 25 years or so. Just let it go a couple years ago. I needed a swimming pool in my house in Malibu, and uh, so I had to let her go. But um, this is a great sounding burst, stock and original, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Anyway, this guitar is on uh, lots of heart records. Over the years, I played it in the studio all the time. I used it live with the Paul Rogers band many, many times. And uh, y you can go. Sweet or sassy, depending on your style. But I love this guitar. It's got the all seeing eye on it. Ooh. <laughs> Here's the back. This guitar has the thinnest neck of any burst I've ever played. It's got like a 61 SG style neck. Very thin, very flat. And uh, according to measurements, it's thinner than most even the thin neck 1960 bursts. And very comfortable, very, very easy to play. It's like butter, this guitar. <laughs> dry and chalky sounding. It's only a guitar this old will sound where the wood's nice and dry. They took their time when they made these guitars back in the 60s, in the 50s, I mean. And I don't think there's anything like it that you can buy today. <laughs> A lot of people play this riff, and most of the people that play it, play it wrong. I'm going to show you how to play it properly, because <laughs> I play it for a living. First thing, you've got to have the big A, big boy A, with your fingers up here on the A. Then the second part is with an open G string. Cost off right, you need that, that uh, trembling vibrato. <laughs> Strings are, are 
heavy. 